explain what things. What does it mean to improvise? <laughs> think, but what kind of thinking? What does it mean to improvise? Yeah. Just come up with it as you go. Yeah, just come up with it as you go. So we're going to be doing a lot of improvisation and improvising and oh. making things up as we do it. Now all my other students, please stand up off your desks and look for empty space, negative space, to fill in. There's some over here. Fantastic. Cool. is structured in a way that supports the art community, the teachers, and the students. So in the art community, we want to build um, a list of artists, build an artist roster that we take into the schools from which teachers choose different art forms to teach their curriculum. And I got involved with Engaging Creative Minds, um, first by just um, I found out about them and I signed up to be an artist with them and I took a workshop um, learning how to do some integration um, with the curriculum. And so pretty much what our steps are, are that we have meetings with the teachers and they explain to us some things that they're having challenges with um, with their students, some, something in the standards that they're having difficulty teaching. And so I sit down and I try to think of how can I teach that concept through dance and movement. Researching arts integration programs, I came across Big Thought down in Dallas, Texas and they have this incredible model where the arts are at the center of the curriculum and and really it's bigger than just the arts it, it's innovative creative imaginative thinkers and when you know that's what we want our students to do business today is crying for those type of people to come in self starters motivated people passionate about what they do and so they put that at the center of their curriculum and I started looking at the results they were getting they were phenomenal kids were excited the teachers were learning skills of how to engage their students and get them excited and the arts community and the in the creative community in Dallas have embraced this I've seen blue ones and black ones has anybody ever seen other colors yeah and I've seen ones that only almost look like they have little boxes on their wings. So oh, why don't we think about all that when we're looking at our poem. So here we go, it's the beginning of the poem. It skims the pond's surface. Why do you think the author picked the word skims? What is <laughs> Outspread wings, blur with speed. Notice this word blur, which is moving so quickly you can't even see it now. It touches down. Why do you think the author says touches and not lands or flops or falls? What does it mean when something touches down? Mm -hmm. Being my fifth year here at the school um, and coming on board to Angel Oak, my philosophy is brain compatible teaching and learning. And um, last year we had the wonderful opportunity to have uh, Jean here with us, with Yo Art, who actually uh, began to implement what my belief, my philosophy was, and connecting students to art as well as to content areas. And that has only flourished uh, this year with several engaging uh, Creative Mind partners who have been working with us from everything from the theatrical performances to artists to um, photographers um, and our students are totally engaged. The learning is, is phenomenal. You see sparks going off all the time um, as our students are, are, are learning new concepts and connecting that with real life experiences. Teachers we support because um, as Aaron said the first meeting we go in and say what are you having trouble teaching? How can we help you? And they give us some standards and then we talk with the artist and talk through some ideas of what we could do to come in to support that teacher and give them tools for future teaching. So when um, a teacher watches an artist such as today do some creative movement and dance with poetry that teacher then thinks okay next year I could do that and maybe bring in a visual artist to teach force in motion so they kind of can build 
their um, units through us. And students obviously are very engaged, excited. Um, after watching Aaron today, I can tell you that at 3 o'clock today, if you asked one of these children about a Georgia Heard poem, they will tell you about the dragonfly poem. But if this had been a sit down, read this poem, I don't know that many would have remembered skimming the water and um, you know all the things that they learned today by moving and doing. Well, what I found is that the students um, are immediately engaged and um, enjoy learning through dance and so they get the added benefit of learning the curriculum but they also learn how, some new things about movement that they might not have known before. As we move forward to next year we've already had the opportunity to uh, make some recommendations for some other schools that could be tapped in and to, to work with this particular pilot program and Hut Gap is the next school as some of our students fifth grade will be leaving to go to Hut hot cap. In addition, what we're doing next year is to engage all of our students because our kindergarten, first and second grade teachers are, are very enthusiastic about what's happening and we're going to be writing some grants to the State Department to engage them in the same kind of concept that we're doing with Engaging Creative Minds and hopefully secure some grant monies for that. Engaging Creative Minds really grew out of the idea of trying to open up additional avenues of learning for students. I get the opportunity to work with so many creative people here in Charleston through all of the different arts organizations. But many times there was a disconnect between the excitement and the engagement that arts organizations can bring to students, but what we're charged with and challenged with to do in schools. And so Engaging Creative Minds grew out of that need of, of, to blend those together, to give classroom teachers the skills to get the most efficiency out of what an artist can bring to their classroom, and to teach artists what we're charged with and challenged with standards and, and what the students need to know to learn and achieve. It touches down. Ooh, I like that sudden touches down, stopping to sun itself on a dock. Wings flicker. <coughs> you how you could flicker, yeah, every now and then. And still stained glass windows. Can you make it with somebody who's near you? Stained glass windows. Sun shining through. And Ooh, you gotta wait for the echo. Wait, I'm not going to the rhythm. You don't want me to put the echo. Ah. Ooh. 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 Ooh.